Hello guys, we are back. So, hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jenny Kwamboka. In case you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified each and every time that I upload a new video. And in case you like this video, give it a thumbs up. So, straight to today's video, guys. I want to tell you how I was conned by by some by some people claiming to be working with the safari con. We've also been conned before. And yeah, so today it's going to be about the con story. Okay. So guys, today we want to tell you how we were conned by people claiming to be working from safaricom so i think i think shelly shelly will start because this conning thing came from her there is this friend of mine called pixie pixie yeah she's pixie she's going to view this and she she will she will confirm it too so pixie was conned then the then the, the the those people they found my contacts my contact number on 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 her on her list and they called me so they were like um we are from safaricom and we've just realized that you have difficulty in your line or, or there, there are some complications in your line and i was like oh, okay so which line specifically at they at first they asked me are you Leila and I was like I'm not Leila but I'm a sister so they were like well always Leila then I gave her I gave them the, the Leila's number so then they called Leila so actually guys why they thought that my my sister here was me is because I had I had uh, two lines initially so my my sister then my sister borrowed me for my other line because I was not using it. So I think that is how they thought that she was me. So it was uh, around, uh, was it, was it 5, 5.30 p.m.? 11. No, in the evening, the previous day. Yeah, 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 5.30. Yeah. So that is the time they called Shirley. So... I was I was out for some work. So when I came back, Shelly told me that some people have called here looking for you. And I had I, I had applied for some jobs. So I thought maybe there are those people. <laughs> so I was like, ah, let me let me get back to them. So I was like, ah. If it was meant for me, then they'll just call me back again. So the the next day at around uh, 11, 11, p, 11 a.m., yeah? So the next day around 11 a.m., those people called me. So after calling me, they, they asked me some details, personal details. So they started... Uh, uh, hello. Are we talking to Leila? Yeah, yes, I'm Leila. Hmm. We've just realized that this, this, uh, this, now this line of yours. Is it line? No, not line. We've just realized that you are, you, you are, your ID, your identity card is registered, as registered, more than five numbers. So I was like, these people might are saying the truth. Are saying the truth because the previous day, uh, we took my brother out for shopping. Then there were these people. This how are they called? These people advertising for safari. So they were advertising some some uh, lines there with some offers. So I decided, why not? Let me try this offer. 
yeah, they were selling as a, a SIM card offering 500, 500 MP. And uh, that SIM card was going for 100 shillings, 100 Kenyan shillings, that is one USD. So, hmm, so I went there then, I gave them my identity card. Mm, we did all those processes. Then that person told me, hey, Madam, we are sorry you can't get a line. Hey, then I was like, why? Oh, you are like, you are, you are, then they were like, you are, you are ID has registered more than five numbers. So, so to, in order to be on the safer side, you just go and visit Safaricom customer care. Go and tell them that issue before they consider you a fraudster. Yeah. So then, coincidentally, the next day now, your second one kapata your phone call, Sasa. So I was like, oh, so so you mean that guy was telling me the truth? So I was like, yes, I know. My my I just registered more than five numbers, and I don't know them. So then, that person was like, "Do you want? Do you want us to help you?" Then I was like, "Yes." Uh -huh. Then from there, he told me, "What did he tell me?" He said he would me. help you. So you, you, he wanted you to give him your details. Oh yeah. So, so the person, the person went went straight to. First he started, first he, he left for my number. Mm -hmm. No, he knew my number. He knew your number. Yeah. He told me my number. Then I was like, ah, this person must be legit. How what you come out in Nipata through Tracy. Tracy Pixie. So like, while you call Tracy. Yeah, she will watch it. Yeah. Wali con Tracy, then they found me through Tracy. Nikama wali swap line ya Tracy, then they found the contacts from Tracy's phone, then blah, 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 just like that. So they were like, are you Layla? They called me in the evening. They, they were like, are you Layla? And I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm her sister. Let me give you her contact. So then, nikawa patia contact yake. So then they they called. They called you, right? Yeah, so guys, the next day at around 11 a.m., those people called me. So calling me, they asked me, mm, are you Leila? Oh, yes, I'm Leila. Such a, this, this number is yours? Yeah, yes, it is mine. And such a number, yeah, it is also mine, but I no longer use it. I handed it over to my sister because she needed it. Oh, okay. So then they were like, we realized that your identity card has registered lots of contacts. Then I was like, yes, I know. And the reason why that that happened, I think it's because, because the my, previous day. No, no, no. That is me explaining to them why I, I think my, my ID has registered yeah, lots yeah, of contacts. Yeah, I, I told them, I, I think it has registered lots of contacts because yeah, my my ID got lost way back when I was in school. Oh so so then they asked, do you know do you know all those people? No, I told them no I I I, I know none. Then they told me then we'll help you. Then I was like, wow okay you'll help me a lot. Hmm? Then they started like uh, can you go to your is it Mpesa Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They told me I go to my Mpesa service. No, they said there is no need of going to an agent or something because they are here to help you. They will no, help yeah. you. Yeah. So then before that, they, they they even told me my my PIN number, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So after telling me my PIN number, I was like, wow, these people are legit. They even know my PIN number. So after that, uh, then I, I just opened up to them after them telling me my, my PIN number. Though, so I was like, 
I was no I was like I, I didn't remember my pin number so I was like oh let me look for that plate so so that I can confirm and tell you let me let me just hang up you call after around five minutes five or two minutes then they were like no you just look for it we we're not hanging up we'll wait for we'll you. wait for you <laughs> mm? so it's like they never wanted to give me time to do that because they knew that I will do maybe I will realize that they are not legit, mm -hmm. you know. So after that, they, they asked me my, my what? My M-Pesa, my M-Pesa pin. My M-Pesa pin. Your balance in M-Pesa. My M-Pesa, no, before, before they asked me my M-Pesa pin, they asked me my M-Pesa balance. I told them, they told me, hey, do you, are you, are you involved in any business? Or what, what, blah, blah, blah. Then I was like, mm, any business for now? No. Maybe no. the rental houses yeah. that give you money. Yeah, that is what I told them. Oh, then they were like, mm, can you kindly share, tell us our, tell us you are in this appeal. So many people, these people are, they are just legit. They want to help me out. Why not? I gave in. I gave in. I gave. I gave them my, my what? My M-Pesa pin. Yeah. So after that, so Mark you, I was Nini. The my my sister's number now. I gave them my sister's M-Pesa pin, and my M-Pesa pin because my sister was using my line. Mark you. Yeah. I gave them those two M-Pesa pins. So after that, they checked my sister's. <laughs> My sister is a Mpesa balance. It was zero. zero. Then they were like, no, we are done with that other line. Hmm? So they were on my, my line now. Oh. They, after, after doing all those, checking, checking those Mpesa stuff, so then they were like, oh. so when, uh, what, what make, made me realize that these people, they, they might be, they might be, but I was still convinced they were legit, but uh, something then just cheat my mind and then I was just these people might be con men when they asked me about my my bank account. bank account pin then I was like I Safaricom really no Safaricom can't do that hmm? then I was like no I, ne I never wanted them to realize that I've 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 known that they are con men, they are not legit, they are false. So I just I just told them that I can't remember my uh, account, my bank account pin. You just try. Hmm? Is it your birthday? Just take your time. No. You just take your time, just try. We want we are helping you out. Hey, I just inst I just insisted. Hey, I know nothing. I said I know nothing. So after that, what did what did they do? They swapped my. They, swapped they told you to to lock your lock your phone. Yeah. Then you you open it again after two minutes. Yeah. Then after two minutes you opened your phone and your line was not working. Yeah, guys. So meaning they had they had swapped my they had swapped my line and they even told me aki eh hey, ah what wana kwanga na machungumu ni machungumu ane amani ya kilingu mama ni they really got the guts <laughs> to do that. So I'm just, song. so I'm just like, you know, they were they were communicating to me through my sister's phone number. So I was like, they just they are talking to me. So my phone, you may put a network. What will they do? They so I'm like, so I'm like telling them, hey, my phone has got no network. And why what will they do? They tell me, Italy. just relax, just relax, eh? Just relax. <laughs> So I'm telling them that a message has just come in my phone that indicating that my line swapped. has been swapped. Yes. You just relax. It's going huh? to be okay. Guys, I've so never... the next time when you are calling, they are not go they, are, they they didn't speak up. No, I didn't call them back. You called them through my back. phone. Yeah, they didn't they speak did not speak up. Then I was like, oh so why why is my phone why does my phone don't have network? So I was like, I these people have, have, have scammed me. 
have called me hey, I I really many many thoughts ran through my mind she rushed to the so, safari com shop so so guys mark you it was my birthday right yeah <laughs> Guys, I was I was good on my birthday. Imagine, I I really I I really cried. So I rushed to Safaricom shop. So when I went to Safaricom shop, I explained my problem. So after explaining to them my problem, they told me that they closed the line. No, no, before closing the line, they told me that you guys, the let me just tell you number one safaricom only uses zero, 0, 7, 0 2, 2. no not zero seven two two it is zero two two and around six zeros zero seven two two yeah no it is not zero seven two two it is zero two two na hizo zero zingine nyingi huko mwisho so they told me that wakaniambia any number yenye napiga yenye it's not that zero zero two two then that's a scam that's not safaricom and the number that had called me was 00 was it 020 yeah yeah 020 it was a landline it was a landline number oh so i was like so i asked these people so how can you help me like when in your new room i was confused <laughs> on her birthday <laughs> so going there so that the there was a i was attended by a certain lady so that lady was asking me did you did you nini did you borrow money from her and sure no i was like no do you have police i was confused <laughs> I, no so like this this guy and uh, ilipata kama some of my friends had sent me money yani hiyo ya birthday sasa for my birthday so ikapata so this guy took that money after taking the money yeye nilikuwa kwa mpesa akafuliza after fuliza ring what again did, did the guy do the guy took a call and what again yo ni yo akakopa mshwari mshwari okoa fuliza guys all those imagine i had to, it was around how much sixteen or something yeah it was a, it was around 16k guys so when i complained to safari com how can i recover this cash So Safaricom was like the only way we can help you for now you go and report to the police station so you know after reporting to the police station hapo utaenda nini utaenda CID you go to the CID then the number to be tracked by CID so then considering that cash that unatumia kwa CID so it's either you just you just let it go because you lose a lot of yeah because you lose a, lo- a lot of cash so they, they just want me to be to be careful Cautious. next time yeah mm-hmm. so guys since that day hey nilishika dabu yangu i don't think if if there is anybody who can call me again is there anybody who can call me so guys have you ever been conned before like we were If uh, if you've been conned before let me know in the comment section down below and let me let me know what was it that led to your conning so that's all for today thank you for watching until next time bye, bye. don't forget to subscribe